I would like to present you one of the most interesting and valuable objects in our upcoming auction. A complete set of four canopic jars from ancient Egypt which were found in the burial of a very high official named Jetkari in the rank of a viceroy of Upper Egypt. He lived in the late period during the 26th dynasty which means in a period between 663 and 525 before Christ. But before I'm going into detail, let me say a few words about mummification in ancient Egypt. It was important for the religion of the ancient Egyptians to preserve the dead body in a, as lifelike manner as possible. In doing that, they were so successful that today we can view the mummified body of an Egyptian and have a good idea what he or she looked like in life even 3,000 years ago. For that reason, the Egyptians used the method for embalming the dead bodies. In order to explain, they removed all moisture from the body, leaving only a dried form that could not easily decay. This process took exactly 70 days, beginning with the removal of all internal organs that might decay rapidly as liver, lung, stomach and intestines. They were preserved in special jars, which we call today the canopic jars. These were buried with the mummy. Each jar was reserved for specific organs designated under the protection of one of the four sons of Horus, funeral gods, whose role was to guard the internal organs, the human-headed imset, protector of the liver, the baboon-headed harpy, protector of the lungs, the jackal-headed duamotef, protector of the stomach, and finally, the falcon-headed kebesenuef, the protector of the intestines. The hollow jars of our set were carved in alabaster and have cylindrical bodies swelling at the shoulder and tapering to the flat base. The conforming lids are finely sculpted faces, partly with traces of black pigment. In the late period, the funerary practices changed in as much as organs were replaced in the mummy's abdominal cavity. So the use of canopic jars became somewhat outmoded. But a lavished funeral for a viceroy like Jet Carré, the use of canopic jars was still required. So it is not surprising that in our case, canopic jars from earlier funerals were reused. This also explains the fact that three of them are smaller in size than the big canopy of Harpy with the baboon's face. Each of the hieroglyphic inscriptions on the belly of the jar record the name of the tutelary god first and then the name of the deceased, Jetkari, holding important offices at court and high-ranking religious positions. It is also the distinguished provenance which makes these objects so particularly valuable. They belong once into the private collection of the Austrian Imperial House, namely to the Emperor Franz Josef I, who died during the First World War in 1916. After that, the canopic jars of Jet Kari found their way into the German private collection. And these incredible pieces of history forms lot number 278 in our auction in July.